accomplishment from his bucket list, becoming the first person to circumnavigate the Entis Linton, undertaking the epic journey for a cause close to his heart. The end of a long road for this world record-breaking dad. The first thing I've got to do, most important thing, is I've got to give my son a hug. <laughs> Chris Linton yeah, walking into going? Salamanca today, the end of a massive 1,400-kilometre, 46-day journey. I'm not sure what to feel. It's uh, like, did I actually do that? He believes he's become the first person in history to walk the perimeter of Tasmania. Starting at Port Arthur with his son Kelvin on April 2, the duo trekked up the east coast through St Helens and Anson's Bay to their hometown of Latrobe, where Chris dropped off his 14-year-old son, having successfully become the youngest person ever to walk across the state. It was quite a challenge, um, waking up in the morning with the fast and just a challenge. From there, Chris carried on solo, walking across to Smithton, right down the west coast. The weather um, through, through that mountain pass was uh, quite extreme. Lots of snow, had a couple of days of snow and constant rain for two weeks. So that probably was the, uh, the biggest challenge. Then it was on to Hewenville, Signet and Kingston and finally Salamanca, all in the name of mental health awareness. I've suffered from depression um, all my life, uh, had uh, episodes from, from time to time, and uh, was diagnosed with uh, bipolar disorder uh, about three months ago. What's really important about this walk is the awareness that I've uh, brought to, to the public about um, the stigma associated with depression. Chris is hoping to get his name in the Guinness Book of World Records, and having gone through four pairs of shoes throughout his journey, he suggests anyone game to follow his lead takes plenty of supplies.